Vegas is probably bigger because of all the changes. Well, they're thinking they're going to move Williams from the ALEs. Yeah, Williams are going to move out last year. All right, Vic. Let's let's talk some baseball. Let's talk Yankees. Let's talk American League East as a whole here. Yes. Um, recently, you know, we like to keep you guys up to date on you know what's going on in the sports betting world. I mean, everybody likes to have a few extra dollars riding on the game and win a few extra dollars on the game. So uh, the uh, AL East kind of projected wins that they've started to filter out into the uh, into the media. So these numbers are not going to be the same numbers that you see opening day. I mean, you know, it's funny how it works with with, with odds. One book launches numbers, which these guys did, and then another book launches numbers that are completely different. Eventually, they all meet in the middle. But um, as of right now, here's, here's where we stand, and we're going to give our two pieces on uh, the numbers of Vegas, or this one sports book we've heard, um, has projected. The Yankees at 93 wins, the Red Sox at 89, Tampa Bay Rays 87 wins, Toronto to have 80, and Baltimore all the way down there at 70 wins. They take it, let's start with the Yanks. If I go only by the uh, projections for the players they've picked up versus lost. I'm just saying. Yep, who cares? We're looking yeah, no, I'm just first week in October, yeah? Yeah, I'm just giving my own. That's what I'm going to go by. Okay. I'm going to go by the book. I'm going to go by the book saying the average war of the players they lost versus the players they picked up. The Yankees won 97 games last year. Uh, they won more than 97 last year. Obviously, prior to that, they won the World Series. So I'm going to say over 93. Okay, all right. I I'm going to... Uh, I'm a little nervous about doing this because I think 993 is a good number for the Yankees. I agree with you. You know your more projections there that makes sense. Um, my only issue is our, our pitching staff to me is a little bit of a wild card. You know, I mean I love Pineda, but can he pull together a full season for us? I, I love Nova, but can he you know sh do what he did last he year did. again? You know, with breakout season with, with Corona coming over a great season last year, coming over to the AL East, can he do what he did in the NL West? In the AL East, and then our number five spot, which, which we've already discussed, Garcia and Husey. I think it'll be Husey. Can he at least be, you know, a nine and eleven pitcher in the five spot? Can we get to ninety three wins? Yes. Can we get to ninety seven like we did last year? I don't think so. So I'm going to give the plus for ninety three, but um, it, it makes me nervous. I think ninety three is a good number. I think that the other teams in the league, like the, the Tigers, the Rangers, the Angels, have all gotten better. So that robs some wins out of the AL East, and it robs some wins from the Yankees. So uh, I'm going to say we're going to end up with like 94, 95, but cover the 93. No AJ Burnett making 30 starts. That's <laughs> it's above 93 for me. Red sucks. Red sucks. All right. You want me, want me to take this one? Sure. All right. Uh, I'm going to say the Red Sox, who last year finished with about the same number of wins. I want to say it's about 89. Um, they, had, they had 90 last year. 90 last year? 90 last year. Okay, so they're saying there's going to knock them down a little bit. I'm going to say pitching problems cause them to be a negative. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, who knows if Beckett's going to stay healthy. I think, um, you know, this guy Lester, if he's, if he's able to make 35 starts, then great. Same with Buckholtz. Who's that other guy from the Angels they picked up who, uh, the sucker, who sucks? Blackie. Blackie. Um, Blackie. Uh, I mean, he, he's going to be horrible. He's going to go 7-12 and 12 if he even gets 19 decisions this year. He's out for the season. Well, he's out for the season. Tommy John. Uh, I think I, I think I wrote that post a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but, um, God, so he's not playing. So, he's not going so we got we got Dice K guy who uh, who pretty much didn't pitch all last season. That is going downhill fast. I mean, who else do they have? You know, and, and their offense is just another year older. They might pick up Oswald as a rumor. They have to. They have to pick up Oswald. Yeah. But now we're starting to get to the time where you know what they, they got to make the move and somebody else could swoop in yep. and take him away. You know what? Eighty nine is going to be tough in this division. So. No, I see. I see them at 86, 87 wins. Again, I'm going straight war projections. I'm going to go plus Ooh. because of the players they lost versus the players they picked up. Who did they pick up? And they, they didn't lose much. Okay. And they didn't pick up much. Because I can't name anybody who they picked up that would make them a better team. That's that's what I'm getting at for you. Okay. Here, here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at. Lost versus picked up keeps them about the same team. Didn't they lose that one? Uh, is it Salta La Mafia or the other? No, they traded, uh, they traded the shortstop. Shortstop Scudero? Marco Scudero. And then the other guy, they lost the, uh, the, the long-haired guy who was the outfielder. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They, they traded Scudero. Scudero was a, a one-war guy. They traded him for a relief pitcher. So that's oh, point five war. Right. My point is exactly. The reason why I think they'll get to 89 is they still have a, a big three. Okay. They still have... 
that could still have Lester, still have Buckles. That's a that's a good anchor. Okay. They still have Fenway Park. Yeah. They average 50, 50 plus wins a year in Fenway. That means they got to get to thirty nine. They basically play under five hundred ball on the road, and they could get up to eighty nine wins. Fenway Park is that big wild card for me. Mm-hmm. No team knows how to play their own field better than the Red Sox and then the Yankees. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll take what you're saying. I'll agree with the fact that they'll win fifty at home. But even asking them to go 39 and 43 on the road, I think might be a little too much this year. Cool. Let's move on. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. The genius that is Madden <laughs> at uh, in Tampa Bay, it, to me, is a little bit of a mirage. You know the way I feel about it. Mm-hmm. Because no matter h- how you slice it, the skipper of the Tampa Bay Rays tosses out a good young, good to great young starter every day. Right. His five-man rotation consists of a good to great young starter. So every single game, you know they're going to be in the game. So, again, again, go, go by the trends. Go by the trends, I'm going to go plus. I'm, I'm going to uh, pretty much agree with most of what you're saying there. Pitching pitching for the Tampa Bay is going to get them to 87 wins. Um, and I've kind of said this in other phrases before. Is, is Tampa, of the big three, Tampa's always looked as kind of like the lower of the three. And the problem is they have to play the Red Sox and Yankees just the amount of, same amount of times that the Yankees have to play the Red Sox in Tampa. Now let's break that out real quick. Basically, it's more difficult for Tampa to play two teams that are technically better than them. What's it? They play each other, what, 16 times during the season? Each one? So 32 times, whereas the Yankees are playing the Red Sox and the, and the uh, Rays 32 times, two teams who are technically not as good as them. They should get more wins out of it. So, forget the whole the math and breaking that down. It's a plus. <laughs> you know, they're... Their pitching's gonna bring it, bring them, bring that plus up there. I mean, with guys like Shields out there pitching, that guy Moore is just ready to break out and have an incredible season. Um, it's a plus. Price, Price is still on the team. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's here's like a wild card. We won't spend much time on Toronto and Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, Toronto won 81 last year. To me, Toronto would have won four of the other six divisions in baseball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or four of the other five divisions in baseball. Uh, and 80 wins uh, because I think. If you knock these teams down a bit, I'll give them I'll give them a plus. And I realize I'm going plus against it uh, for all, but I'm only going with the trends that have been in place for the last three years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I give Toronto a plus eight. I mean, I'll give them a plus two simply just for the fact that they did win 81 last season. They were very competitive last season. Didn't have much of a mix-up. I want to say they picked up two pitchers who I can't remember the names of in the offseason. I think they'll be a marginally better team, so maybe they'll win 83 games this year. But I see them as a plus. And just for the hell of it, <laughs> I'm going to give Showalter, uh, even though 70 is a ridiculously low number. Uh, and the AL East, I can see you going, you know, 62 and 100. I, I mean, I'm going to give him a negative for the same exact reason. Not that Baltimore is, I mean, well, they're not a good team, they're a bad team. But, you know, they really just don't have a chance to win more than 70 games because they're playing these these monsters every day in a game and game out. Do you think, today, do you think the wild card comes out of the American League East as it traditionally has? Here we go. No. No, I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be the uh, whoever is not the Texas Rangers or, uh, you know, Al Anaheim, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Got to go uh, to Los Angeles. Got to go to Los Angeles. State Farm. Anaheim. Right. Okay, now, whoever, one of those Angels or Rangers team, uh, way souped up this year. If they both put it together, both have good management in place. You know what, if we're looking at these numbers, I expect both of those teams to win more than 90 games. So if we're saying the Red Sox are at 89, then uh, you know what? Then one of those guys should fall into the second spot. If for no other reason than these four teams beat each other up. Yeah, Parity in the in the AL East is doing it, whereas those guys are playing their 16 games against you know the Mariners, against the A's. Um, I guess it's only from two side division. So I'm, I'm going to go with the fact that the the wild card comes out of the AL East again because one of those things like you don't bet against Duke making to the Sweet 16 because they yeah. make it to the Sweet 16, Sweet 16 every year. Every year, the AL East produces the wild card, so I'm not going to buck that trend. I'm going to make them show me the okay. AL Central, AL West. I'm going to make them show me that they can compete. Um, so I'll say that the, the wild card is actually this team right here. Still Tampa. You are so high on that, man. Yeah, man. And then another, another October at home for the Red Sox? Come on, the boy can dream. <laughs> uh, what a post. Epic. What a post. Epic. <laughs> 